in the hands of Quinn Bergeron. He sends it over to Bloodgood. He puts it up. Underneath it is Merriman. Merriman's got company in the form of Jimmy Tull, but it does not bother him one bit. He leaps up, comes down with the disc. Comes down and Fredella fields it on the bounce. He's got Van Dusen on the move. And Repperman breaking into open space. He's got it. Yarders downfield, and he's got room. Repperman cues up a backhand. This one's floating a little bit. And Yarder goes up and gets it with very little resistance. Tristan Yarder. It's in the hands of Rowan McDonald, 2018 MVP. Sends it back to Shields. McDonald's got it again. And this one's ripped. And he's got a receiver deep. Pulled down, and it looks like it's Neeson. Coming up to Fortify behind him is McDonald, and the two of them play catch right on the doorstep. Graber on the mark, Neeson working, but instead he flips it over to Shields. Back on the field in the back, but Max Shepard against the double team right now. Sends it back to uh, Burgess. He swings it around, and Shepard's got to go up and get it. And if it had been almost anybody else, he might not have come down with it. But Max Shepard in those orange elevators. Caliccio's got it. He's joined by Merriman. Flips it over his shoulder. Mast has it. Mast being loosely marked, and he puts it over the top. There could be a fight for this one. Edmonds is in position, and I had no doubt he was going to get it. He pulls it away from several folks, including Quinn Bergeron, who was down there. David Blood. Got to cut up the line, and now nobody in the middle. Shepard sends it up the line. He's got Newell back there. Newell has company. He gets a touch on it. A big one coming from Kyle Vezina. Here comes a huck from uh, Thomas Edmonds. It's going to find Jonathan Mast. How did he get down there? John Mast rarely making a downfield cut, looking for an option. He finds it in Max Shepard over on the home sideline. He's throwing a couple goals from there already. Look, fakes the over the top, and then goes with a scooper to Caliccio. A little roll reversal there as John Mass busted downfield and all alone. I feel like he set that cut up for two seasons. And now towards that sideline, nice pass from Mass, and he's got a cross field option, which of course he takes, but it doesn't stick around for long as that disc is snuffed out by number eight, Quinn Bergeron. He goes back downfield. Disc is moved to Harrison. Harrison has the aforementioned Bergeron. Caliccio right on him. There was a little bit of a miscommunication there. And here comes a looping hammer. Will Jimmy Toll have time to make a difference? No, he does not. Surveys it. Reese Bergeron marking him. And he fires one up. Tom Edmonds going downfield. He's going to have company, and he takes it out of the hands of Gabe Webster, beating everybody downfield. And you know that combination is a popular one here in Pittsburgh. Now Fredella has it again. Cooper breaking out. Can he get up and get it? Can he make a second play? He does! He does! That pass went over Cooper's head. I knew he wasn't going to give up on it. And anybody who knows the young man knew he had a shot. But what a play to turn around and chase it down. A critical throwing error. Here it comes. You see, it's popped up a little. In front of a dip bidding Bergeron, it's Max Shepard directing traffic, working very hard as Repperman. Instead, he flips it to Edmonds and then takes off down the field. And Edmonds, I think, probably waiting to see if Merriman would clear out of there. He doesn't wait for Merriman to clear. And he throws it up into double coverage. And Merriman didn't have to help with that. Shepard never got a chance to bid because Bergeron pulled it down. Webster sends it over to Merriman. Merriman marked by Graber. A bid by Repperman, hoping to add to that block total. Leo Pearson pulls it down. And uh, he finds um, Gabe Webster. Webster sends it over the top to Bergeron. And he sends one out. Davis chasing this one down. But no hope as Colin Bergeron pulls this one down. And DC finds Mox. 20 seconds left. McDonald has it again. And it's launched. Caliccio down there with Merriman. And the throw just makes it impossible for Caliccio to make a play. What a throw by the former MVP. My goodness. It looked like it was shaping up to be a battle back there with those. More mass can throw it. Downfield. 
We've got about six seconds left, and this one goes on the turf, and what a disaster it would be if they're able to score this one. They will be. My goodness. An errant throw finds the turf, and DC is able to pick it up and throw a score to end the half 13-9. He sends one out to Van Dusen, and is somebody going for Van Dusen? Not really. Reppermann flirted with the idea. Now Van Dusen cranks one up from a standing position. He has Watt deep and all alone. It's just a matter of whether or not he can close his hands on an inbounds, and he can. Mass finds the captain, Jimmy Toll. He's got Max Shepard flanking him, but he pulls the trigger and one to Caliccio. Merriman with him. Caliccio times it perfectly, jumps up, pulls it down. Now looking around for help, and he finds it in the form of Burgess. Burgess has a lot of folks cutting to his right, so he decides to send it back to his left. That pass is delayed just a little bit by a timely poach by Gabe Webster. All right, moving backwards in the wrong direction, breaking off the top of the stack is Caliccio, but it's Edmonds on an in-cut who catches it, and he fires one to Max Shepard, making a timely cut to the front cone. Four members of the D.C. Breeze cutting in is Merriman. Behind him, he's got a deep cutter. Underneath it, you got Repperman. Can he make a block? He cannot. Colin Bergeron catches up with it, catches it first. Uh, and, uh, and a great signing in C.J. Caliccio from uh, the Triangle area now in town in the education world. John Mass laces a huck, and boy, oh boy, is it pretty. Caliccio glides to it. My goodness, why doesn't he do that more often? Look at him there. He's, I don't know if you could see it, but he does the double-fingered bang-bang guns. And look at this beautiful throw. Flattens out. And Caliccio, he can practice. Norbaum decides not to put one up, and instead he throws a short one in to uh, Neeson. And now uh, McDonald's got it. And he finds Neeson running downfield. And he actually does milk that one into the end zone. There's no question about it. Downfield with him was Webster. Burgess sends it across the field in front of a bidding. And then uh, back to Keller. Keller floats it out to Bloodgood. Bloodgood puts it over the top. Toll tries to go up there and get it, but Merriman climbs the ladder. Pulls it. The double team arrives too late to make a difference there. Sparky. Cutting right in front of, uh, looks like it was Shields over there and uh, the disc, or Ben Green maybe, and uh, that pass was too high for him. This one pops up as well, and uh, Reberman goes up, jumps a little bit too early, kind of climbs on the back of Bloodgood, and Bloodgood made, manages to catch it. Now it's in the hands of Merriman, and he cranks a backhand out into space, and it is pretty. It floats up there, and uh, it is... Maybe the Thunderbirds can finish with the Callahan, but nope, even that will be denied. Merriman going deep, and we'll see whether or not Bergeron decides to send it. He does not. He pulls it back in. Zeros on the clock. And there's your final score. Thunderbirds, 16. DC Breeze, 25. Take it 25-16. And the Thunderbirds fall to 1-8. and eight. DC climbs to 7-2 and two with a catbird seat looking down on almost all the rest of the Atlantic Division uh, with the exception of the Atlanta Hustle. And uh, so... We take a look at the tail of the tape. It's pretty clear.